you're back. And your head's still on. Did you swim? Swim? No, boat. I boated. I mean, they dropped me off in a boat. Impressive. So, what's the next step on our grand adventure? Tea and biscuits? A hearty nap, perhaps? I need to find the city green and the home of Abnaxus. I visit the city green every day to clean my feathers in the fountain. Follow me. I keep overhearing people talking about the reaping. This must all be part of I the really harvest wish celebrations. You had wings. So do I, Crow. Hey, are you okay? Sure, why wouldn't I be? I mean, April and... Of course I'm not okay, okay? But I'm okay. I'll be okay. It's okay. We're okay. Don't worry about it, okay? Okay. She's not the first friend I've lost, and she won't be the last. You learn to roll with the punches. It's either that or... Punch back. Real hard. I fit right in with the locals. I like their style. Maybe I can introduce a line of Arcadia-influenced fashion when I get back. If I have time after saving the world, I'll come back for some bread with jam and dancing around bonfires. So, how's business? Uh, pretty good. I mean, reaping's a great time for me. Plenty of customers, even if those farmers... Nice thing. Good boy or girl. Hey, it's soft. I thought it'd be hard like a tortoise's shell. That makes no sense at all. I mean, People look friendly enough, but I only see humans, no magicals. Harvest, harvest there, what happens? I, I fit right in with the locals. How's your memory coming along? Do you remember anything so about this place now? Place? I worked so hard to remember, but no, not much. It was winter. True. Winter changes everything, what with the snow and the ice and all. And the city looked different. Smaller. It probably has grown a bit. But no, I don't really remember anything at all. Perfectly fine. I also remember very little, but then I am a bird with a bird brain. So what can you expect? They're preparing for a shindig of some kind. Any celebration that involves burning large sacks of hay is guaranteed success in my book. I like their style. Maybe I can introduce a line of Arcadia-influenced fashion when I get back. What's going on here? Isn't that... Are they trying to chop down Abnaxus's abode? Great. That's great. So this is it. A boat of, uh, big ugly thing what speaks funny? Apparently so. And there's someone else here. Apparently so. Huh. Good bird. So what now? I don't know. Do you have any suggestions? We kill them bury their bodies, and then go about our lives as if nothing happened. That's disturbing. I know. I'm dark. I'm really not in the mood for killing today. Or any day. Fine, then you come up with something. Once this unholy tree's been knocked down, the electric will take me seriously. They'll see I have the power to get things done. Maybe then I can stop licking the asses of the Azadi. Goddess, this and... Ah! A member of the voting public! Uh, I... Honor Hilaris Esquire at your service, madam. But uh, I'm sure I don't need to introduce myself to you, hmm? You've seen my face in print and in public appearances. You know me as an honourable and truthful fellow who stands with the common man. 
the ant woman. We shan't forget the common woman. Yes, yes. I'm, of course, running for Commissioner of City Watch, a position sorely and desperately in need of new blood. The watch needs strength. It needs direction. It needs humanity. In other words, it needs me. He's gunning for a political position with the City Watch. I wonder what his end game is. You're running for City Watch? Indeed, the Watch is in dire need of strong male leadership in this time of dark crisis. Male? As you well know, the current Commissioner, a person of the female persuasion, has failed to maintain order in the city in these dark, trying times. She's been soft on sorcery, magnanimous with magicals. She's indulged the occult, and she's extended an open hand to non-humans, acting in discord with our foreign benefactors. Oh, it's understandable she's weak, she's sentimental. She's merely a woman, and she's not been able to properly inspire the men of the Watch to take appropriate action against our occult immigrants. As soon as I'm elected, this will change. We will honor Azadi law and make Mercuria pure again. No more magic, no more magicals. And our women folk can once again return to home and hearth to be pampered and protected by their husbands, fathers and brothers. As it should be, yes, yes. It looks like they're trying to destroy Abner. He appears to be an Azadi supporter. I wonder how genuine it is. Let's see if I can get him talking about himself. He sounded more than happy to do so. It's Hilaris, right? Oh no, Hilaris Esquire, licensed solicitor, and your candidate for Commissioner of City Watch. It's an unusual name. It's unique, certainly, but it's a Northlander name with deep roots in Mercurian society. My father, the esteemed Hubert Hilaris Esquire, served dutifully for many years on the council. He was respected, feared, and admired by all. Of course, that, that was before he was beguiled by that Dolmari witch. She used her wily sorcery and beastly sensuality to lure my father away from his family. Away from... from us. I've sworn to restore our sacred heritage. The witches shall burn, humanity shall prevail, and the name Hilaris shall no longer be the butt of spiteful jests. He appears to be an... I take it you're happy with the Azadi occupation? No, 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 I wouldn't call it an occupation, not anymore. The Azadi came to save us from the Tyrant invaders and they stayed to protect us against all magicals. They're our benefactors, not our oppressors. But the resistance has put us all at risk. Unless we re-establish human dominion over the Northlands, we'll be vulnerable when the Azadi eventually return to Azadir. For believe me, they will. Oh, they've promised as much. This is not their land, and this is why I run for office. To build a Mercuria by and for humans, one that can stand the test of time and stand up against occult invaders. We must invest in the future, and you can't spell future without owner Hilaris. It looks like they're trying... Why are you trying to knock down this tree? Well, it's not just a tree. It's an affront to common decency and humanity. This so-called domicile was the dark and dangerous den of one of the most militant of magicals, an abominable beast that threatened our young and our women by its mere existence. Eradicating this occult stone tree from our historic green is not just my election promise to voters, but my God's given responsibility as a human being. Oh, I've had... Well, best of luck with everything. Luck is the lazy man's excuse for failure. Luck is an occult idea. I create my own destiny, young madam, and so should you. Here's my advice to you. Find yourself a decent human husband and start breeding decent human babies. This is how you can best contribute to our common manifest destiny. And remember, a vote for honour is a vote for humanity. Go on, put your back into it, man. This is pathetic. It's merely a tree. 